So recently, Odyssey launched a new putter, Red Ball, yeah. and a really unique, different kind of design. And when we put out our feature on it and started a forum thread, the comments were not great. Right. And you've always said, come to me with anything. Right. And we wanted to bring the feedback to you. <laughs> and, and I think there's some misconceptions out there about the putter in general. Right. So I think that was one of the things we wanted to discuss. The first is, when you look at it, it's different looking. You're going to get a polarizing kind of product. Do you know who the... Um the political uh, strategist Roger Stone is? I do. So you know what one of Roger Stone's rules is, right? It's important that they're talking about you. It's not really all that important what they say, but it, but honestly, any product um, that's going to change the way people uh, would think of things, you know, sort of literally, right. linearly, linearly, it's hard to say, <laughs> Um, are, are, they're gonna they're gonna come under fire. We're okay with that. Yeah. So this this is something that um, we definitely see. There's a there's a big need for. So we're happy to do it. When you're looking at the putter, and we put up a, a little quick. If you haven't seen our feature, there's a three second video almost that's constantly playing a loop that shows you what happens when you're not lined up correctly with the ball on the little scope. People said, well, I, I don't I don't putt with my eyes directly over the ball. Yeah. And this still kind of works. Yeah. So let's let let me go back a little. Okay. Um, what we see, and I would I would say uh, that the team at Odyssey, we now spend, uh, especially in the summertime, we're in the heat of the of the season right now, a huge amount of our time out and about doing events where we fit putters, mm -hmm. uh, golfers of all abilities, and we spend a tremendous amount of time out on tour. Uh, Obviously, not golfers of all ability. Either. Right. Um, but one of the things that you see when you go to a tour event is you see golfers spending a huge amount of time, whether it's on the practice tee hitting full shots or on the putting green hitting putts, working on their alignment, uh, working on their setup. So golfers align typically horribly at all levels yeah. on all shots, right? And I, when I say at all levels, including the tour. So when you go to the tour event and you see a golfer with an alignment stick, right? Most of the golfers out there, when they're working on things, they wouldn't go anywhere without a stick. I remember when I was at the other place and Jim Flick was was our instructor there, he used to say to me, hey, Toulon, are you working with the alignment sticks? And I said, no, it's kind of like, you know, how often do you, get your, do you floss your teeth? You always lie. So I said, well, Jim, it's kind of, he said, Toulon, just remember one thing, without the stick, there is no flick, right? So his idea was, you have to be aligned properly first, or all the rest of the it doesn't matter. just begins to fall apart, yeah. right? So we s sort of took that as a thought and looked at, gosh, I think that really applies to putting, right? And when we see guys on tour, or when we do these fitting days and see these players and how they set up, they set up so inconsistently, it's hard to imagine. The ball is too far forward, the ball is too far back, the ball is too far this way, too, too far inside their eye line, too far outside their eye line. And it doesn't really matter how you set up as long as you, as you set up the, the same way all of the time. That's what red ball does. So it will get you into whatever your position is more often, and if you get there more often, you're gonna be aligned better. And if you're aligned better, you're gonna putt better. It's so really it, simple. It, one of the things I noticed when I picked it up is I'm not directly over it because right. I play thing, and I didn't have a problem. It, it was right. the same every time. Uh -huh. So and that's we kind of wanted you to answer that question. The second one is a, is an interesting thing that was discussed quite heavily, and we've done other videos on it as uh, Odyssey has progressed to some new inserts. Right. Um, o Works has been a huge success. Mm -hmm. uh, the XO which is kind of a, a hybrid, and we did a great video on that where you're explaining the decibels and why we had to do that. Right. This was viewed by many as a rollback, and can you explain why insert? Why You're you... referring to Red Ball and the insert that Correct. we chose. Why? Why you chose this insert? Right. So we definitely we're all in on roll enhancing face technology, right? So Toulon milled. We use the deep diamond mill mm -hmm. to do two things: control sound, but it uses friction to get the ball moving forward. So that's also very expensive to machine into a putter, right? Uh, yeah. That takes about 45 minutes on the machine to cut that pattern in. And we have some really, really cool things to take that, I think, to a level far beyond what we're, we're thinking today. So prototypes. Um, 
micro hinge, the way micro hinge works, so to get the ball kind of lifted up and into a forward roll. Um, that works great. That's our best roll technology. It's also very, very expensive. So we wanted to make sure that we could bring red ball out at a more affordable price point. So it's $179, which is uh, more affordable than where we've been. And something that I think is important to the golfer to bring a, a technology that helps them align, helps them get set up properly, but also gives them some of this forward roll and legendary soft odyssey feel. That's what this uh, insert does. So it's got the oval shapes in it. Um, that helps with friction, helps get the sound to where we want and give you forward roll. It also happens to be a little bit more economical to build than micro hinge. So that's why we put it in. Based on the success of Red Ball, which is a single line putter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a line that has one model. Yeah. Could we see other models as sure. well? Yeah. So we've got, as you might imagine, we've got many more models in development and things that we're curious about and wondering, you know, will this work, could this work? It's interesting that, um, you know, the initial comments from the, the, the communities um, have been mixed, which is fine. Mm -hmm. White Driver was mixed. Almost anything that we've done that sort of pushes people outside of their comfort zone are very mixed. Where it has not been mixed has been on the PGA Tour, uh, the LPGA Tour, if, if people follow Michelle, we, um, she'll be getting one here shortly. Uh, we've had probably six or seven people on tour, we'll bring it out to tour next week, um, that have requested it just on the PGA Tour alone, more in Europe, more in Japan, uh, and more on the web. So um, just for people that, I just want you to think of the first time you ever saw a two ball or in Indianapolis or anything like that. Number seven. Right, anytime you do something that says, gosh, that doesn't look like a pig answer. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work like that either.